If you would like to get a head start on entering your budgets for the next fiscal year, the NYP options in a probe can be used before closing out the current fiscal year. After entering NYP amounts, they will appear in the next year proposed field on the budget and revenue accounts. Then when adjust is run for fiscal year end, the next year proposed amounts are moved into the initial budget or initial revenue fields. The NYP main option allows you to enter next year proposed amounts for each account individually. So if I go into the NYP main option, option three, the first thing it's going to ask me for is if I want to process budget or revenue. So I have to select one or the other. I'm going to select budget accounts. And then the first prompt is going to ask how do I want the next year proposed amounts calculated. If I select option A, the figure entered is the board approved amount and will not include any current encumbrances. So for the new year, carryover encumbrances are allowed to be spent in addition to the board approved amount. So if the board approves a budget of $26,000, I would enter $26,000 in NYP mate, and this is the amount that's going to be stored in the next year proposed field for that budget account until the end of the year. After closing the year, if I had $10,000 worth of encumbrances from last year, those will be placed in the carryover encumbered amount. So if I take that plus my initial budget figure of $26,000, my fiscal year to date expendable figure will be $36,000. So it has the next year proposed amount of $26,000, that board approved amount, plus my carryover encumbrances. So again, those are in addition to my board approved amount. Now if I go ahead and select option B, the figure entered is the amount the board approved and when processed through NYP maint, it will subtract off any current encumbrances. So for example, if the board approves a budget of $26,000 and there's currently $10,000 worth of encumbrances, when I process this through NYP maint, it will first display the encumbered amount on the budget account. I have to manually override that with the board approved amount of $26,000. So it's going to, so if they have $10,000 worth of encumbrances, it will display $10,000. I override that with $26,000 and the NYP mate program will then subtract off that $10,000 worth of encumbrances and store a next year proposed amount of $16,000. And that will stay there until the end of the year and will become the initial budget for the new year. Now a problem with using option B is if it's used too far ahead of time, you run the risk of your encumbered amount changing from the time you entered your next year proposed amounts in NYP maint to the time you run adjust for fiscal year end. So really the preferred method is to use option A ahead of time and set up your next year proposed amounts and then right before you close the year, use the NYP mass option six, which is current next year proposed amount minus current encumbrances. And this will subtract off the current encumbrances from the current next year proposed amount. Other options that you're going to see in here, sort options. The sorting available in NYP mate, the same as what they are in Budwork or RevWork. So if you're using a bud work for this particular example as a template or a guide to help you enter in your figures in NYP mate, make sure you enter the same sort options in NYP mate to ease in your data entry. You can also choose to exclude or include accounts that currently do not have any amounts in them as well as accounts that are no longer active. You also have the option to reference specific bank codes. Screens two and three will allow you to enter in wildcard or range selections. So this looks very familiar to what you see in BudWork or in the RevWork programs. So if you ran a BudWork ahead of time to use as a template and you selected specific accounts, I would enter those same specific accounts in here. So for in my example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just specific cafeteria funds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include just the 006 
with an object codes of 400. And I'm going to get rid of everything else here. So once I have entered the desired accounts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load these in by using my PF4 key to continue. So what happens then at this point is it brings up all of my 006 budget accounts with an object of 400. It brings them up each individually and now I can start entering in my board approved amounts for each of these. And so in order to do that, the first thing that I need to do is I need to go in and press the modify key. And this will allow me then to go in and start adding all of my um, amounts in here. So my first one is going to be $2,000. And then my next one, and I just tab right through it. So basically at this point I'm automatically locked in and I'm able to modify up to six accounts. I just have five here that um, I have to process, but it will display six accounts at a time. So if I had more to do, what I could do is I could use my page down key and it will actually go and save the first six and bring up the next six available to enter in my figures. So when I'm finished with all of this, what I can do is I can press the PF4 key to accept the modifications and it will tell me, it will fill it all in and show all of my board approved amounts and at this point if I want to see a total, I can hit my um, display totals and it's going to bring up my total here and I could probably refer back to my bud work and make sure that those are the same totals there, 12,500. I'm going to exit that report and at this point then I'm going to go ahead and exit out and exit out one more time. And now my, I don't get any type of output file or anything, so what I could do is I could run a bud work and verify that those amounts have been loaded in. So again, I'm going to go down and make sure that my wildcard and ranges are the same, 006, just the 400 object codes, and I'll go ahead and execute this. And it should give me my next year proposed total of 12,500, so right away I know that that matched my total in the NYP main program. But if I just want to double check and take a look at the figures, I can do that on the bud work. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at the last column here, and those are all the figures that I entered in for a total of 12,500. If you need to make any changes, or maybe you entered in the wrong accounts to begin with, you can go back into a probe into the NYP INI option and clear out the next year proposed figures for these accounts. Or if you only have one or two that need to be changed, you can also go into that specific budget account, go over to the next year proposed amount and modify that manually. That is a modifiable field.